This video breaks down how the Dallas Mavericks toughed it out down the stretch on both ends to take a 2-1 series lead in the West Semis. Thunder fans were upset about Lou Dort picking up his fifth foul here, but from another angle we can see Dort going Kung Fu Panda mode on us with a knee to Luka's midsection. Doncic would split a pair at the stripe to make it a two possession game. Doncic hedging this Wallace ball screen and Jones Jr. cutting off Alexander's driving angle forces Shea into a short corner drop off. Case and Trask pitching to J-Dub, but Williams responds to a clog lane by instantly kicking right back to Wallace. The Case and Brick is snagged away from Holmgren with this springy Washington rebound. It had been working before this, but Thunderman in charge Mark Dagnaltz would continue hack-a-shacking Derek Lively the second in the clutch. The rookie made the coach of the year pay by staying mentally poised to hit a pair. This play sees Mark Dagnalt draw up a 5-out handoff between Holmgren and Williams that flows into a Kansas action, which consists of Joe slipping a back screen for Dort, and then Isaiah getting a pin down from Holmgren, and it's Joe coming through. Jason Kidd leaving Lively in and trusting his rookie even after some fourth quarter misses before this final 407 breakdown began would pay off for a second time in the clutch. OKC Hackashack's Derek yet again, but he proves the coach of the year wrong for a second time by locking in to donate these key charity stripe attempts. Watch Luca hedge this SGA pick and roll, then clog the paint as the low man to shut down the Holmgren drive before picking up Dort who he ends up funneling to the paint, where the Thunder spoil great defense as Lou Gwentz drives and dishes to J-Dub for this contested leaner. Joe intercepting this Kyrie entry leads to Isaiah immediately throwing away his own steal to Doncic. This gives the Mavs numbers and leeways a Slovenian finger roll. This Oklahoma play sees Alexander draw what I like to call a regular season foul. Shea stopping short to embrace the in-position Washington contact sees him then carry his self-created momentum forward to make PJ's contact seem illegal. That was illegal, man! That was illegal! The end result is two made Shea free throws. Lou Dort playing outstanding pick and roll defense on Doncic forces him to step back and miss. However, the next Thunder possession, after getting clamped by Kyrie, Alexander just tosses it to the strong side, where Doncic forces a very questionable jump ball that should have been a play on. Doncic would win the jump ball, then entry to Washington, who attempts to expose a mismatch, but it's a brick. Gilgis Alexander would respond by immediately tossing up a 24-footer directly in the face of Lively, and the early shot clock miss is wrestled away by Jones Jr. It's then Kyrie isolating J-Dub with a cross tween behind that gets him the first step left, and watch the elevation he gets for this off-handed floater in traffic. Another one of those Doncic pick-and-roll hedges evidently bothers Gilgis Alexander. Shea is funneled into a baseline drive by Jones Jr., then it's Luka bothering him for a second time in the possession by rotating to the interior on the back side, rim protection that leads to Shea committing the offensive foul. That Dallas stop ultimately sealed it, with Kidd plus the Dallas coaching staff's game plan being stellar, and the Mavs personnel flawlessly fulfilling assignments in the final stages. But Dallas wouldn't have been around until those final five without PJ Washington, who went off for a team-high 27 points. In what's PJ's first appearance in the postseason after a dreary five years in Charlotte, this was Washington's first consecutive 20-plus point performance in the playoffs. After three outings of this second round against OKC, Washington's making an incredible 54% of his nine three-point attempts per game, savoring every moment of his first trip to the postseason. Picked up from Charlotte at the 2024 NBA trade deadline by Dallas GM Nico Harrison in exchange for Grant Williams, Seth Curry, and a top two protected first rounder in 2027, Washington has made Dallas a lot better in many ways, whether it's with his size, rebounding, floor spacing, versatility, or screen setting. Washington helping fulfill Dallas's potential is a big reason for the Mavericks being two wins away from making their second conference finals appearance in three years. The play of the game from the last remaining legend from his respective era, Kyrie Andrew Irving, was this size up on Jalen Williams, where a double hezzy double rainbow all the way across the sky <laughs> flows into a spin, gaining Kyrie sufficient footing and general leverage for an aesthetic fallaway. The having always been outspoken Irving displayed a clear headspace by referencing a statement featured in a recent Knicks video covered on this channel, stating, I think Josh Hart had a tremendous quote where he talked about people having 12-hour shifts while we get to go out there and play the game that we love. We have ascended here because a lot of hard work. 
having 360'd his reputation that took a hit when he left the Boston Celtics. I think it's dope to see Kyrie in the state of mind that he is. I mean, the mainstream media tried canceling this man. Now look at where Irving is. Him potentially leading Dallas to its first ring since 2011 would be one hell of a story. Meanwhile, for Luka Doncic, we'll get to more on the incredible defense that he played, but the superstar stated that quote-unquote, everything is hurting post-game, going on to say that he hurt his knee again and that he needs all the rest he can get for Game 4 on Monday in Dallas. We looked at the final 407, but let's go back to just over a minute before that in Game 3 to witness some exuberant Mavericks D that changed the personality of this one. Derek Lively II switching onto SGA leads to a kick to the right corner. Irving pressuring Dort then gets J double look, who attacks downhill and is met with a great straight up contest by PJ Washington. On the very next Oklahoma possession, it's Luka switching onto Shea and forcing a mid-air kick to the left corner. When it's swung to the top of the arc, Doncic rotates for an outstanding second effort to force the Lou Dort turnover. Luka's effort level and positioning shows you he is a better defender than people give him credit for. Doncic ranked second among point guards in defensive rating this season, which only trailed Minnesota's Mike Conley. This makes Luka one of the best point guard defenders in the association, regardless of those trying to label him as a subpar defensive player. The first matchup of this second round was controlled by Oklahoma, while Game 2 was one-handedly by Dallas, but Game 3 showed us the Mavericks' ability to execute under pressure in close battles, maybe a step ahead of the Thunders. Let me know your predictions for the rest of this second round Oklahoma-Texas battle down below in the comments section for a chance at next video shoutout. The two commenter shoutouts for my last upload in this one go to firstly, Euthanasia, who says, Wolves in six, Soda is too deep. What they do to Jokic is not out of the normal for this defense. Jaden, Nod, and Ants can limit Murray and MPJ. Jokic will get his 30, but won't get triple doubles. Soda is legit eight to 10 deep. All play great defense and can shoot. Nas is a 50-40-90 guy. Na and Monte Morris are career 36% three-point shooters. Slow-mo hits that runner. Denver lost Jeff Green and Bruce Brown, who were 40-plus percent three-point shooters last year against the Wolves in the playoffs. playoffs. Finally, Soda has only lost back-to-back -back games four times all year, two of which Cat was injured at the end of the year. They never lost three in a row. As KG once said, we coming. And secondly, to Raven M, who says that the best moment of Game 2 for the Timberwolves was the crowd chanting MVP for Ant-Man on Jokic's home court. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and hit thumbs up to help this video survive in YouTube's algorithm. Thank you tremendously for your support. Your boy DFlo signing off, and I'll see you next video.